Uh, greetings everyone, today I would like to make a few things clear and in my previous videos I uh, talked about, you know, I used this Asian or this uh, Mongoloid zodiac a lot and you know, I always like to think that this, you know, 12 year beast is uh, uh, something that is, uh, comes from our, our ancestor, our nomadic ancestors and it has uh, nothing to do with, you know, this China but you know, uh, China claimed it, and you know, um, you know, everyone thinks that it is you know Chinese zodiac. So uh, today I would like to talk about the one you know this word, uh, word that is, uh, uh, it's a or or. What is or? Also, I would like to talk about the Buddha of money. Uh, this 12 year beast uh, here in Mongolia it is called uh, 12 Jil. Uh, this um, European zodiac has a different name. It has a, a 12 Ord. So, uh, you know, Ord and Jil sounds very different. Word Ord means um, a great tent of a Khan. Or it is a big youth of a Khan. If you say Ordon, it's going to be a castle. Uh, since Mongols don't build a castle, uh, Ordon simply means a, a great ruler's youth. So, what is this Or thing? Uh, if you say Or Om, it's going to be a, a, some mark, it's going to be something, you know. Uh, when you know when there was a gear, there would be some uh, circle like mark left on this um, you know uh, step. So um, orum means um, uh, something. Uh, it means remains or some mark. If you say orum, it's going to be a country. And uh, if you say orhan, it's going to be a, you know can. It's going to be a ruler. Why? It is because the word or uh, has a meaning bed, it also has a meaning uh, throne uh, or it's um, you know some base. So uh, who, uh, the ruler of throne must be the you know Khan. So and this word um, Orhan is a popular name for um, uh, boys. So uh, you know um, also word um, word the uh, word or means a uh, mouse hole and uh, also this or um, means a mine field or a mine hole so uh, it's like you know mice hole mine hole and um, why you know this um, mouse hole became uh, you know mine field it is because you know when you uh, find this uh, uh, you know, rodent, mice, um, hose, you will take, you know, some uh, samples and, you know, or you put, you know, this uh, sample and you put uh, water and you will check if there is, you know, gold. And if you find gold, there will be a you know, gold mine. And, you know, thanks to this, you know, uh, mouse and these uh, creatures that dig, uh, in old times it is believed that people find uh, these mana stones, minerals, and all this, you know, ore. Uh, ore is a, you know, a rock that contains um, uh, useful minerals. So this ore and, uh, you know, English ore is a, w almost the same word. Uh, you know, uh, English is a very strange, uh, you know, language for a Mongo. And uh, this or is used to say or ha or or ha. Since o and o is a one, you know, a symbol. Uh, or ha or ha is a one word. Uh, of course, or is a or. Ha means to search for. Search for. You enter this hole and you search for this or. And um, you know there is a bodhta of money. If you look at the Chinese uh, Buddha of money, this um, Buddha of money holds a big, some golden thing in his hands. But uh, Tibetan and Mongolian uh, Buddha of money holds a mouse. I mean, uh, 
you know, uh, Buddha of money, you know, must uh, you know hold a you know a bag of money, or it's you know it must um, hold some gold, a mana stone, something like that. But uh, you know, Buddha of money here in Mongolia holds a white mouse. Sometimes uh, Tibetans want to replace it with the mongoose. Um, why you know this uh, Buddha of money holds a uh, mouse? Uh, first, it is believed that this um, Buddha of money is believed to be a, one great ruler of north, and this mouse uh, symbolizes the direction more north. And of course, uh, this uh, you know mouse hole is called Ord. Uh, it's uh, you know also minefield, and this uh, mouse um, vomits these um, mana um, stones. Uh, it uh, you know um, steals crop. Uh, or it harvests the crop and goes and vomits um, this, uh, you know, food and uh, seeds into his um, hole. Also, you know, by digging a hole, it, you know, vomits some uh, important minerals outside. So, you, you know, uh, take the sample and, you know, you find a go uh, gold and you will become rich. And this mouse also symbolizes, you know, the ancestors. And this mouse um, is respected and placed it in uh, place of number one. And a zodiac is a start uh, with the uh, word orto, and it's a mouse hole. But you know, uh, recently people are, you know, uh, interested in this feng shui, yin yang, and you know this. Uh, Chinese um, thing, and you know, there is a you know merchants and salesmen, and uh, you know, by uh, Tibetan and Mongolian tradition, you must choose uh, a God, uh, you know, a guardian God, and you know, if you are a military man, you need to choose uh, some warrior God or something like that. But if you are a merchant, you must uh, choose uh, God of money. So uh, people put, you know, uh, these uh, feng shui items uh, to, you know, call uh, this um, uh, fortune. But you know, these um, feng shui items have, makes no sense for a Mongol, and uh, especially this um, Chinese Buddha of money who is big, fat, smiling, and holding this uh, uh, gold, um, golden, big gold is, you know, looks good, but it um, has, um, you know. Uh, nothing to do with our, you know, ancient traditions. And of course, um, who is, you know, the ruler of uh, these minefields? Of course, um, in, in the ancient times, if you are a ruler, if you are this um, Or Han, if you are the ruler of this Or, and um, if you are this um, ruler, you always think about the warfare, you always think about the armor, you always think about the weapons, and, um, you know, um, Minefield, uh, finding a uh, metal ore is very important for a Khan. Also, a Mongol name for um, wisdom, intelligence is a uh, Ohan or it's Ohan. And uh, to understand, to dig something, it's uh, uh, something like that. Well, uh, uh, that's pretty much for today, and thanks for watching.